Hello and welcome to this Swift video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom button. So instead of using those buttons that are already provided for you in Swift, I'm going to show you how to make your own fancy buttons in this video right here. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching. So now we're going to take a look at how we can make our own custom buttons. Of course, there are a couple of options here. The first one is to find a button on the internet. Just have a search in Google and find a button. Just make sure that you're not violating any copyrights if you want to make it a production app. But the other option you have is to use a program to design your own button, which is what I would recommend. Now I'm using, using Sketch 3, but you could also use PowerPoint and take a screenshot uh, the screenshot of your button you can use Photoshop whatever you want to but for the simplicity of this video I'm going to use sketch 3 and I'm also going to show you how you can use a PowerPoint to make a button so there's no excuses for not making your own buttons so I'm just going to create a new project let's see okay and I'm going to just design a quick little button. Of course, you can make this as fancy as you want to, but I'm just going to have a round button. It's going to be more or less round. Let's see, 300 times 300. Let's make this full screen. And um, I'm going to remove the borders. I'm going to add on some inner shadows. Let's see, no, I'm going to add some shadows right there exactly as I wanted to, just a bit of a blur so that, it, so that it pops out and I'm going to have some text that says click me like that and I'm going to make the size a bit bigger so that they, we are really customizing a button here click me a bit too large, let's see, let's make it 48 click me and uh, the color is going to be, let's see, uh, let's make it, let's make it blue. I like blue, okay. Then we can see, what about in the shadows? I'll try that, no. Okay, this is my button. Uh, not the most fancy button, but it serves the purpose. And I'm going to um, create a symbol out of this, call it, button and I'm just going to export it so that we can use it. That's an advantage being able to use our button. It's now saved. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you how I would go about making a button in also PowerPoint or Keynote so that you can do both. But of course I would suggest that you get either Photoshop or uh, Sketch but as you will see, it's not a requirement. I'm just going to make a box, just like this. Uh, I'm going to make it a circle. Now, the disadvantage of using PowerPoint, as you may have guessed, is that the background is not going to be transparent, which means you're either going to have to make a square button or you are going to have to have a white background on your app. So that's the disadvantage, really, of using um, of using Keynote or PowerPoint or something like that but again I'm just going to show you how you could go about doing this and I'm just going to take a screenshot, uh, screenshot of the button so now we have two buttons now we're going to start our Xcode project and I'm going to call it button demo make sure that the language is Swift and I'm going to click next and save it on my desktop Let's see, it's actually very simple if you come so far, you have designed your own button, now it's just about placing the buttons in the interface. So I'm going to search for a button and I'm going to place two buttons on the user interface. Now the first button, oh, we almost forgot, we have to import our buttons. Let's see, finish and I'm just going to shut down these applications so that my computer doesn't melt here um, and the first one the first button is going to be the one that we made in sketch which is this one whoa it's huge let's see if we can make it a bit smaller 
of course you could scale it before importing it but we're just going to do it this way scaling it in the application and um, we're yeah we're good to go really with the first button right here as you can see awesome button and then the second one that we made in PowerPoint is going to be this one or keynote as you can see let's see let's come on button get in get in we also want you to hear here we go here you have your two customized button it's really that simple it's really that simple you just have to put some effort in into designing the buttons and once you have done that you can use the buttons any way you like now the buttons are going to work exactly as a normal button which means that if we drag let's say this button in right here called it button made it an action and we say that when we let's see when we click this button we and we're also going to import this one because this also works as a normal button this is going to be an outlet button object and when I click this one I want button O dot to disappear hidden is equal to true let's see let's test this app and as you might expect oh let's see um, what's the okay I see X color A got it is hidden if you want it like that we're going to give it like that X code so as I'm just going to demonstrate this button now works exactly as a completely normal button works you just click it and it will call a certain action okay so here are our two buttons I'm just going to click it and bam it is hidden exactly as a normal button would work make sure that if you enjoyed this tutorial that you click the subscribe button to stay tuned for videos to come and if you do so i will see you back in the next video again thank you for watching